Hey guys, it's Zach, and today's the day the iPhone XR came out. Mine just got delivered, so let's take a look at it. You got your uh, Apple pamphlet, complete with everyone's favorite thing, Apple stickers. standard 5 watt charging block, which is kind of a disappointment. Now that fast charging is possible in iPhones, I wish they would include a fast charger like the one you get with the iPad. Lightning headphones. I've never really been a fan of these personally because they don't fit in my ears. You get your classic lightning cable. I legitimately did not know that you could do that and that is very cool. The 10R is the first time I've ever got an iPhone on launch day, which is interesting. Before this, I've been using the iPhone 8, which is going to be going to Alex now. I've really enjoyed the 8. I think that the gold 8, I mean, it's not gonna autofocus because this is a GH5. iPhone 8 in gold, I think, is probably the best looking iPhone that I've ever had. The features that I'm most excited about on the 10R are probably the portrait mode, Though I do wish that I was able to do portrait mode on objects, not just on people. So after shooting some portrait mode today, I'm pretty impressed with it. It looks relatively good. There's obviously still a couple issues with edge detection, but mostly it looks pretty good. It's nice being able to change your aperture between f1.4 and f16. I think that is something I can see myself using. I certainly like the ability to change it after the fact. It's definitely not perfect and it's not going to be up to the level of a interchangeable lens camera like this, but I think for a phone doing it entirely with software, it does a pretty good job. So with the iPhone XR having smart HDR, the difference compared to the iPhone 8 is significant. It probably doesn't have as much contrast as I would like in the XR's image, but that's always something you can fix, whereas blown out highlights are something you can't fix. Looking at the images side by side, I think the upgrade for the camera alone on the 10R over the previous generation is definitely worth it. I also took a video example of the same scene, and again, the dynamic range on the 10R is significantly better than that of on the iPhone 8. The iPhone 8 with auto exposure was tending to overexpose and blow out the highlights where the iPhone 10R was doing a great job exposing properly. I found that on the 10R, I'm not having to re-expose like I had to on the iPhone 8. The haptic touch of the 10R is not quite as good as the 3D touch that I'm used to on the iPhone 8, but Apple have said that they're gonna expand the functionality of it. Haptic touch works on your lock screen, so it allows you to use the flashlight and the camera, and it also works in notification center with long presses instead of hard presses. You have to wait about half a second for it to engage, and it does work on everything on the notification center, which is great. However, it does not work you know, on the home screen on any of the apps. Apple has now added the trackpad feature to all phones that don't have 3D touch. What you have to do is just hold the space bar and it gives you the same freedom. The only thing that I think I don't like is the fact that Notification Center is in the top right corner where I'm used to it being at the bottom which I think I much prefer. It's a lot easier to access it from there than from the top of the phone. That is what it is. The size is a little bit bigger than I expected it to be. This is the first time I've actually held one in my hand. I'm sure that I'll get over that pretty quick. I was always reluctant to get the Plus models the past couple phones because I did really enjoy the size that the 6, 7, and 8 have been. But this certainly doesn't feel uncomfortable and the difference in screen size is significant. Apple's got a lot of flack for the resolution of the 10R screen, but Realistically, it's the same PPI as the iPhone 8, which is also the same as what the iPhone 4 was, but the iPhone 8 screen looks fantastic. And this looks at least as good, though it's bigger. And of course, having an emojis and memojis. To be honest, I spent about an hour just playing with memojis and an emojis this morning. 
and I think it's a lot of fun. So yeah, I've played around with Animojis a little bit. So far, I really like it. I've only had the phone since last night. I think I've quickly adjusted to using gestures over the home button. So yeah, the iPhone XR I think is a great upgrade from the iPhone 8. And emojis are fun, the portrait mode is great. The best thing of all, I think, is probably the Smart HDR in photo and video, it works great. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you love this video, consider subscribing. Thanks a lot. I think this guy looks like me. What do you think?